guys and welcome back to Coffee and Makeup. I'm Britt and today we're doing a book haul from my absolute favorite place in the world which is Wonder Book, the used bookstore in Frederick, Maryland. If you're ever around there I really suggest checking it out. I myself have to pilgrimage out there because it's not particularly close to where I live but I just love this bookstore. It's my favorite. The books are really cheap and you can just get lost in there. So I have a ton of books. I'm actually consolidating two recent hauls that I did so we have a lot of ground to cover and I'm just going to jump right in with the book that I'm reading now which is called Grave Witch by Kalena Price and this is an amazing book. I guess I should just say um, since this is my first book related video on my channel that my favorite types of books are like fantasy or um, romance or some type of like paranormal element. I uh, just like something that's a little bit exciting and outside of the norm. Uh, I do accounting in my regular life so I have enough boring stuff going on in my life and I like a little bit of adventure and mystery. I also love mysteries. Um, so that's the kind of books that I like and this book has been so amazing so far. It's not too big and I like it because there's a bit of world building but it's not overwhelming. Uh, it keeps you on the edge of your seat and you just really want to like, I know I could stay up all night reading this book. I haven't. I'm responsible but I could definitely do that it's just like a cliffhanger um, with each chapter and so good so far so I really recommend this one and a little bit about it it's just about a woman who can talk to I suppose the memories of people who have died to figure out who killed them and she gets wrapped up and entangled in this very interesting magical mystery so I really recommend Grave Witch great book so this month I guess at Wonder Book there was a special on mystery novels and it was buy two get two free so of course I had to find at least four and I got two books from Tammy Hogue Guilty as Sin and The Ninth Girl haven't read either of these yet but I got them because I just finished recently A Thin Dark Line which is a pretty big one and I thought it was really good. The, it was a mystery, and as are these two, and the ending was a little bit unsatisfactory to me, but I loved the character, the main character in this book. She's really well-developed and strong, powerful woman, which I like. So I could really relate to the main character. I'm looking forward to reading The Ninth Girl and also Guilty as Sin, her good things about both of these. Then I needed to get two more mystery novels for free, so I picked this one called Black Dog. It's a crime novel about a missing girl. I haven't even started to read it yet, but it sounded pretty good. I honestly had a hard time picking out the last two mysteries because I just didn't have any that were particularly calling to me, so I kind of picked one at random. That was this one. And then I also got Extreme Danger by Shannon McKenna. And the lady at the register gave me a hard time about this one because apparently it's actually more a romance than a mystery. And I was like, I didn't shelve it. That's not my problem. Got it in the mystery section. So she did give me the discount eventually. But this is a mystery about a girl who falls into harm's way just by chance um, when she takes a risk by skinny dipping in a stranger's pool. Oh my. So, eh, sounds pretty good. The next one I got was called Daughter of the Forest by Juliet Marillier. And I picked this one up because I saw that there were a million copies in the bookstore. And that's one way that I can kind of gauge, like, do people like this book? Is if there's a ton of copies being sold to the used bookstore, I feel it's like a pretty good indicator of whether people enjoy reading it or not. So I picked this one up. It seems more of a classic fantasy novel and it has a female main character. So I'm looking forward to reading this one. Don't really know anything about this book or the author, but I am excited to learn about it. Another book that I've already started reading is called The Name of the Wind by Patrick Rothfuss. I began and then I pretty much gave up pretty early in because the main character is so annoying to me. For some reason, I just find the main character to be really full of himself and narcissistic and it really does not make for the best read ever. So I probably will try to pick up on it, but I I couldn't. I couldn't continue. I was just like, I'm moving on to something else because I just could not stand the personality of the main character. Then I found in the dollar bin this book, Eleutheria, I don't know really how to pronounce it, by Samuel Beckett. And I loved Waiting for Gatto in high school. That was one of those high school novels that really resonated with me. I think everyone has one of those that they read it for a school project. 
not thinking that it was going to be particularly meaningful and then they fell in love with it. That's how Waiting for Gato was for me. So I've also read a bunch of other Samuel Beckett works. Not this one though, so I'm excited to read this. And it was in the dollar bin, so it was only a dollar. Great savings. Then I got the Bane Reeker novel from Jacqueline Carey. Jacqueline Carey is one of my favorite authors. I started out reading her with her first series, which was the Kushal series, the first book being Kushal's Dart, and I recommend that book to anyone, I especially any lady out there, because it has such an amazing female lead character, Phaedra. She is just everything. She's everything. And I really enjoyed that. Then I moved on to Jacqueline Carey's most recent series which is the agent of hell series and that is sort of a contemporary paranormal romance type but it has so much more than that like i don't just like just a romance novel i really enjoy novels with romantic elements but also a really interesting plot and amazing characters that you can get really attached to and that was the agent of hell series for me it was such a well-rounded book with all these great characters and the last book made me cry like i and i hardly ever cry about books so it was a very good series and now I'm circling back to Jacqueline Carey's Sundering series this is the first book called Bane Reeker and this is in more of the style of her original Kushil books where it's like thy and thou and you know a little bit of the old English coming out and I think much thicker than the Agent of Hell series and probably a lot more backstory and um, historical context, etc. But I'm looking forward to reading this one a lot. I love Jacqueline Carey. She's amazing. Then I picked up one of my favorite books from when I was a little girl. This is Green Rider by Kristen Britton. And I was introduced to this book by my aunt and my cousin many, many years ago. And I just remember loving this book. Uh, so much. Although I did start reading this just a little bit. Um, uh, a few weeks ago and it's definitely better suited to a younger reader I think because as an adult and I guess with more sophisticated tastes now it is a pretty simple writing style and kind of a one-note character but I'm still going to read through the whole thing just for fun and nostalgia so I'm looking forward to that. Wonderbook has a ton of these novels by V.C. Andrews in the horror section. They're just everywhere and I was curious about them mostly because of these amazing covers. They have the little cutout with the person's face then you open it and there's this creepy scene inside. This one looks especially weird and bizarre so that's what drew me to this book and I have to say that it is absolutely awful. The writing style of V.C. Andrews is just beyond terrible and also kind of like racially insensitive um it this was just a weird one for me but i bought it because of the cool cover and that's really the only thing it has going for it i'm not even going to finish this i'm definitely going to give it to goodwill or something because it just was not speaking to me at all i'm not going to spend much time on this one but i did get a gardening book about herbs because i wanted to start an herb garden this summer and i feel like that's probably already kind of a dead and gone desire because it's almost halfway through the summer so I'm like what's the point at this time but maybe maybe I still will just pick this up on a whim because I thought that I would be proactive and start an herb garden and it just hasn't happened yet. I did pick up one tarot book while I was at Wonderbook. I have been getting really into reading tarot cards recently and I wanted to find a book that explained the pictures on the traditional Rider Waite Smith tarot cards because I just got a traditional style deck and I want to learn all of those symbols. So I picked this one up because of that, but I didn't really spend, I think, enough time looking at this book because it's, it, you can tell that it's written in the 1970s and this is back when there are some misconceptions about even the origins of tarot. They thought it was like mystical, Egyptian, whatever, gypsies, magical, yeah, which has been, I consider, completely debunked um, that tarot does not originate from Egypt. And it's also kind of geared towards the whole fortune telling aspect. Like, um, for this card, King of Wands, choose this card for a man with blue or hazel eyes and blonde hair. Which, I mean, it's just kind of hokey. And there's a lot of things about, like, if a woman draws this card, then it means that the young man. I don't know, that she is attracted to something something. It's just, it's not really 
it's not really for me because I have been using tarot as more of a psychological tool to examine my problems and issues in life and also just kind of a fun party trick to do for my friends and I am not a particular believer in the spiritual aspects of tarot so or the fortune telling aspects so I don't really like this book too much but maybe I'll find some use for it. It does slightly describe all of the symbolism in the picture, so that's a good start. Then lastly, a trip to the bookstore could not be complete without a Stephen King or a Dean Koontz novel. And this time I picked Stephen King's Lisey's Story. This is his self-described favorite novel that he has written, so I'm looking forward to reading this one a lot. It is about an author's wife who encounters a weird stalker of her husband after his death. At least that's how I understand it now, uh, ha having not at all read it, but this should definitely be a good one, especially since it is his self-professed favorite. So that was my book haul. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you saw a book that you were interested in reading in that grouping, let me know. Maybe we can read it together and kind of discuss or form a Goodreads group. Oh, and leave your Goodreads account below if you have one, and I will link mine as well. I have not been that active on it, but I will certainly try, especially if I can connect with some people on here who love reading as much as I do. So thanks guys for watching, and I hope you all are having a wonderful day or week wherever you are, and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye guys!